Welcome to our tutorial about recording VST instruments. In our previous tutorials about MIDI, we covered how to set up and record an external MIDI instrument. We can also record MIDI through a virtual instrument, that is, a synthesizer that's inside your computer. In Cubase, this type of technology is called VSTIs, Virtual Studio Technology Instruments. Cubase comes with a number of different VSTIs. There's also many third-party developers that offer virtual instruments compatible with Cubase. You can manipulate them from within Cubase's control interface. In this situation, Cubase is called the host for the virtual instrument plugin. Today, virtual instruments put the musical universe at your fingertips. You can get unusual world instruments and full orchestra sounds sampled at extremely high quality, as well as phrases, loops, and more that sound really authentic. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up, record, and playback MIDI using a VSTI. First of all, there's two ways to add a VSTI to your project. In this tutorial, we'll talk about how to do it on an instrument track. This is the easier and more convenient way to do it, but the disadvantage is that there's no support for multiple MIDI output channels and audio output channels. For example, you can't use the same ports for your return or audio output bus on the instrument track and for your audio input bus on the audio track. Let's begin by adding an instrument track. We right-click, Add Track, Add Instrument Track. From the Instrument drop-down menu, select Halion and click OK. Our new instrument track appears at the bottom of our track list. By the way, if you don't see the inspector panel on the left, that's this area here, press the Show Inspector button on the toolbar. You need to have View Switches enabled. Right-click anywhere on the toolbar and make sure View Switches is checked. This button here is called the Show Inspector button. It lets you show and hide the inspector. First, let's change the name of our track. We're going to call it Strings. Now click on the Edit Instrument button in the inspector to open the control panel for this VST instrument. The Halion 1 control panel will open. I just had to drag it over from my other monitor. If you want the control panel to stay on top of the Cubase interface while you're working in it, right-click and make sure Always on Top is selected. If it's not selected, this will disappear as soon as you touch the Cubase interface. OK, we're ready to load some sounds. Let's click the Preset button and choose Load Preset. Select in the Category column, let's choose Strings. The subcategory is filtered for us. Let's choose Bass. And let's try an acoustic sound. We have an available sound called Contrabass. We double-click to load it, and we see that it's now loaded in our Control Panel. Let's close the selection window. And we're back to Cubase. As you can see, our loaded choice shows up in the program bank list. We're ready to begin recording. First, let's check our inputs and outputs. In order to play the VST instrument, you need some kind of trigger or controller, just like how you need a steering wheel to drive a car. I'm going to use my Triton keyboard as the controller for the Halion 1 VST instruments. That's why I've selected all MIDI inputs for my input. There's some cases where you wouldn't want to use this option, but for the most part, this is what you'll use. Now let's check on the output. It should say Halion 1. That means Cubase is going to play the MIDI data triggered by my Triton through the VST instrument Halion 1. I also see my preset listed here. OK, let's give it a test. I see in my transport panel that I've got MIDI activity showing, but no audio signal. That's because I didn't enable the monitor button. Now let's test again. And we've got audio signal as well as MIDI activity. Now we're ready to record. Let's press record. Here are my pre-clicks. And let's press stop when we're done. Now let's disable the monitor and the record enable buttons. And let's have a listen. Return to zero, press play or the spacebar. All 
right, let's press stop. Don't forget to save your work. Let's do that now. Let's have a listen to what we've recorded through a different program bank. We can go back to the edit instrument and open the Halion control panel to load a new preset like we did before, or we can choose from the program bank here. Double click to open it. The new bank loads. And let's close the search and viewer. Our new bank is displayed here, as you can see. And let's have a listen. Well, I hope this simple example illustrates that with one small set of MIDI data, you can transform it into an amazing and diverse variety of sounds. The vibe of that phrase totally changed with that new program bank. And this concludes our tutorial about recording a VST instrument through an instrument track.